So, it's Wednesday, which is awesome because that means there's new comics. I mean, it's almost not Wednesday anymore, but it's Wednesday, so I'm still going to count it. So, I'm getting this out on time. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, this wasn't a very huge week for me this week, comic-wise, but um, what did come out was really good. So, I am still pretty excited about it. Um, I'd like to start off the week by um, talking about a comic um, that is number one coming out with its third printing this week. Uh, this is non-player number one by Nate Simpson. Um, and you may wonder, um, hey, why is she talking about a third printing of a number one? Well, uh, this series non-player, um, there's actually only one issue out so far. The second issue is um, scheduled to come out this June, I believe. Um, but this first issue came out in 2011, actually, um, by a gentleman who had never worked in comics before um, from a video game background, um, who put out one of the most beautiful comic books I have ever seen, this non-player. Um, but then he broke his collarbone, so needless to say, um, he wasn't able to put out a lot of work. I actually just want to take a moment to show you some of the interiors of this, because it is insanely gorgeous, and it's a really, really cool concept. Um, the future has kind of fallen to shit, and um, a lot of people, this gal included, have taken refuge into this uh, simulated world. Um, think if you've ever read Ready Player One, which I just started listening to today at work. Um, so the similarities are um, definitely coming clear to me. Um, but the art in this is absolutely stunning. Just to show you one of the in initial pa pages here, like just the detail that you see here is incredible. And there's so much. It's a very diverse, very cool world. Um, very rich, um, and like I said, there's only just the one issue out so far, so you really don't have that far to catch up. Um, so hopefully your local comic shop, if you're interested, has this. Um, I don't know. We picked up the third printing of it, um, at least the shop um, locally that I used to work at, and I hope others did too, because this is a beautiful book, and it ha is a really cool concept, and I really want to see what happens with it, and I'm really looking forward to number two. So that's it. Non-player, number one, third printing out, so you can find it. Probably will have a hard time tracking down that first printing, but it's really cool. My boyfriend turned me on, um, my fiance, sorry, new developments, um, turned me on to it a few months ago, and so I'm really excited to see that they're um, putting it back out into people's hands. Um, so then we have up Chrononauts number two here from Miller and Murphy, um, and Riley over here is going back in time to try to save and rescue his friend, um, who was also trapped in the past there. And um, it, it seems like these two guys up here have a lot of fun working together because this is just a really cool book already. It's a lot of fun. Um, and it'll be interesting to see in this particular um, universe how um, doing things in the past possibly will change the future because it seems that there might be a lot of that going on. Um, and then we have up uh, from IDW, Dave number three. I actually caught up on Dave two and three this week. Um, really fun book about um, robots who have taken over the world and then they have settled into human lives, working office jobs and stuff. And Dave just doesn't know how to cope because he used to be a badass monster fighter and he's without a purpose now, but he might uh, find his purpose again when an alien invasion strikes there. So pretty cool. Um, really, this book I find amusing. Good stuff. Um, then we have up one of my favorites. As you guys know, I love Ms. Marvel. Um, and come on, meet the boy. Uh, that's what I'll say there. Um, I love this book so much. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I, I like the character of Kamala. Um, yes, yeah, she's a teenager, but she's not just an annoying teenager. She's got a lot of depth to her. But she also has, you know, her teenage struggles as well. And um, she's written, she's an, a good, accurate portrayal of a teenager. So many times people just write, um, make ridiculous caricatures of kids. And um, some people can write uh, youth well. And she's doing a good job of it. Um, then we have up Shudder number 11 here. I'm really digging this book as they're journeying into um, like a really tr crazy trippy dream world here. Um, there's some really interesting developments going on in this issue. Um, really cool. This is a great book. Well worth catching up on. Um, if you like fantasy, very good book. Um, ooh, that's a weird noise. And then we have up um, my number one, well not my personally, but uh, a number one out this week from Image. Um, this is Run, Love, Kill. 
um, by the writers John Sui, uh, I don't know, and Eric um, Canente also did um, co-wrote and did the art for this book here. Um, Rain here is an ex-convent, con uh, <laughs> ex-convict, words are very difficult for me tonight apparently, um, and she's escaped, but now she's trapped in a city that is literally walling them in, and um, it's a really interesting um, future that they have here in this book. The art is really cool, and um, I'm, it's interesting enough, I'll check out to see what, what happens next with this. Um, then we have um, Giant Days number two here from Boombox. Um, I have been told that this guy who does this book, Allison, he um, has done some web comics and stuff. Um, someone mentioned the name of one of them to me, um, and it sounded really cool, and I wanted to check it out, and then I forgot about it. So, um, but luckily, with the power of the internet, I think I can figure it out. Um, but this book, Giant Days here, is just a really, really fun, cute book, and I'm really enjoying Boombox and what they're doing with it. Just their books have a lot of charm, and uh, they they just make me happy. So they're they're just fun. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying this book. The art in it is fantastic. Um, it's really quirky and fun. So definitely worth checking out there for you. It's only gonna be um, six issues long, so you know two of the six are already out. So not too much further. So if you end up looking um, enjoying the concept, but you think you might want to wait for the trade. Um, you don't have too long to wait, but it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, also from Boombox, we have, uh, Lumberjanes number 13, which is the long, long awaited and long sought after origin story of Lumberjanes. Maybe. I mean, I didn't know that there was an origin story, but I'm really excited to see them. Um, what this is, is them telling of, you know, first day of camp and all the, all the girls getting to meet each other. So it's a really cute, um, issue there. Um, kind of bringing it all back full circle there for you, uh, letting you know um, how it all started. Um, great book. Really like this one. Um, ooh, and this, this is a unicorn. Um, after months of waiting, we have Sabrina number two. Um, there are two covers for this book, as there are with um, Chrononauts and Shudder as well. Um, possibly a few others, but those are the ones I snagged multiples of. I should have shown you both covers, but I forgot. Um... So there was a really long delay for this book. Um, there's a backup, um, kind of not really explaining why, but apologizing for it. Um, and you see a new character come into play, this Madame Satan, who seems like she might be a big player here coming up in the book. So we will see how that goes. Um, so that, oh, sorry, close face. Um, that's that for books for me this week. Um, I have been binging on Daredevil with my fiance. It has been awesome. I'm not finished yet, so please don't ruin anything for me, but I am digging the hell out of that. Game of Thrones and Silicon Valley both came out this week, so I am, uh, it is some great television happening right now. I'm really excited about it. Um, so yeah, um, in life news, things are going great and stuff, and yeah, that's about it. I think I'm gonna go watch some Daredevil now, so you guys have a great week. Um, uh, check out some cool comics. If you read anything that you think I might dig, let me know. Um, if you have any questions or if you just want to chat, uh, drop it in the comments. Um, also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both at Lady Zaphod, uh, Z-A-P-H-O-D. And that's that. Anyway, uh, take it easy. Have a good night. See you next week.